Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series of MATLAB tutorials. Today we're looking at shape detection, shape recognition uh, using MATLAB of course and today we want a robust method that would be one that's invariant to noise, rotation and scale and we're going to look at Hugh's method, Hugh's seven moments in his paper in 1962. So he described the seven moments that would be invariant to noise, rotation and scale. Now subsequently other people have added more moments to get more accurate answers, but we're just going to run here this run this here. Now, by the way, Hughes doesn't always work. Um usually the image has to be very well segmented to get decent results, but and of course the image will have to be binary, but leaving that aside. So if you want some ideas what it's about, uh, these two chaps here in NUIM, that's Minute, uh, which is just outside Dublin, and they look to choose seven moments to detect um, shapes in large scale maps, and they found that it wasn't that effective, but if they integrated with other techniques, it would be highly effective. In the second case study, uh, Fourier descriptors and Hue seven moments were used. And as is also noted here, their effectiveness when fused with the results of other techniques is much better. And I gave the web reference there in yellow, and I hope it comes up. Uh, there is Hughes 7 invariants, and there is uh, Hughes' um, paper if you want to see it. And also, the reason why I put in Gonzalez Woods and Edens is that I've taken some of their code here. So we look here at the MATLAB script and just go slowly at this now by the way on line 14 here this is IMV moments in very moments this is taken from Gonzalez once and Eden's book and I'm afraid I can't show you the code okay so we took in the image we resized it by a half we rotated the image by 180 we rotated it by 9 degrees and we rotated it by 45 degrees Line 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, just show the image. And then what we did here was on lines 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, we used Gonzalez Woods and Eden's um, function IMV moments. Uh, there will be seven returned for each image. And then to get some meaningful answers on lines 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, we had to do a log uh, transformation so as to get some meaningful answers. If we left them like they were on lines 15, 16, 17 and 18, you know, they'd only vary on the 8th, 9th, 10th decimal place. So it's just to get something that's quite readable. And what I did then was on lines 25 to 29, I put uh, the seven Hughes moments into an array for each of them. And then I did some maths there and on lines 36 to where are we lines 36 to 48 I wrote the file just because I wanted to incorporate it and make it look more tidy in a word document so I whipped it into word from there so if we just run it here so just to separate the images out a little bit so as we can have some idea So figure 1 is the original image, figure 2 is we have the dimensions in both directions, figure 3 is rotated 180, figure 4 we rotated by 9 degrees and figure 5 we rotated by 45 degrees. So I won't show you the returns from the MATLAB because I've tidied them up and I've put them back into my PowerPoint slide, which I'll find in just one sec now. And so there they are, there's the images. And there are the results. So what I did was down the first column here, original image resized by 50, etc. I won't call them out. Hopefully they're fairly visible to you there. And going across here. 5152, there's the seven uh, hue moments. So you can see there, 
there is for the first one the the first moment which is um, the area and you can see that they're very very similar and what I did was back in the MATLAB script I got the max value of phi 1 and the minimum value of phi, of phi 1 and I subtracted them I got the absolute value so so we could get um, just some sort of difference so you can see it's 1 2 3 it's in the four decimal place. Now initially this is a log transform scale so that we get some meaningful answers. But you can see as we run along here just get the difference between the max and the min. They're very very similar to each other. Okay so that's it. Thanks very much. Thanks for listening.